So my question to you is, which city should host the 2016 Eurovision Song Contest? Welcome to the Road to Eurovision. It has been over a week since Mons Selmalov won the Eurovision Song Contest 2015 in Vienna with Heroes. And we know that the dates are set preliminary, but probably to the 10th, 12th and 14th of May of next year. We don't know which city uh, we're going to host this and there's a lot of discussion within Sweden like where should it be? You know. When Sweden won last time in 2012, that, that was back in the day when we still created Facebook groups for certain, you know, assertions or certain things that we believed in. We still have Facebook group, but not like that, because then it was like, all the people who like Coca-Cola, all the people who don't like Coca-Cola. I mean, remember that time? It was silly. But back then, there was this big uh, between Melman and Stockholm. Once Gothenburg has pulled out... Oh, snap. Once uh, Gothenburg was out, it was between Stockholm and Malmö and all this like rivalry Arr! and there, was, there were newspaper articles like people will be upset if it's in Malmö because they have booked their stay and hotel and travels to Stockholm. Well, you know, the city hadn't, hadn't been decided yet. So I would say there are four options. Let's take them in the order of people living there. Stockholm, the capital, they did not host last time, they hosted in 2000 in the Globe Arena. There is the second biggest city in Sweden, Gothenburg on the west coast. There is Malmö who hosted the event back in 2013. And then there is any other place, which means a city probably among the six biggest ones. Uh, because, you know, you can't have it in a really, really small town, obviously, because people need to live there and press and hotels and all that. So what are the pros for Stockholm? Well, it's the capital and they're not competing with another event as they did back in 2013 because the World Cup in hockey was happening at the same time, which would have meant that the Globe Arena, where the Eurovision 2000 was held, would, would not be available. And then we had Friends Arena, which is a big football stadium with crappy sound. Uh, but the problem there is that there's a team who uses that venue, Oiko, and they would probably not be very happy if, you know, SVT, Swedish Broadcasting System, would come in and say, we're going to take over your arena for five weeks. Not going to be very popular. There is Gothenburg. Very friendly town, very close to everything, but do they have an arena to host this? They have Scandinavium, which is their big indoor arena, which is kind of old now, is it? you know, appropriate for Eurovision. Then there's Melma, who hosted it in back in 2013 and did an excellent job, especially budget-wise. They kept their budget, unlike Copenhagen the year after, and oi, 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 oi. They did not anticipate how much that building, that old shipyard building, would cost to fix up, and they went so way over budget. And here are my two cents about that. I hope that Eurovision doesn't become like the Olympic, like this monster that only a few uh, cities or countries can actually organize. Uh, Eurovision Song Contest should be something that more or less any country in Europe, probably with the help, you know, technical-wise or maybe money-wise, uh, but it still should be something that doesn't become a monster because it is a televised show. It, do, it doesn't have to be 40, 50,000 people in the audience. As long as it's a good show, there's good crowd, good Eurovision fans there, it's all good. And then we have all the other cities. We have Uppsala, which is close to Stockholm. Do they have an arena? Probably not. There is Norrköping, Linköping. And then there is Norrland, the northern part of Sweden, where nothing ever happens. They never get like all the good stuff. Would they be able to host an event up in the north? Probably when it comes to the arena, but would they be able to host all these people coming in? Who knows? Who knows? So my question to you is, which city should host the 2016 Eurovision Song Contest? And since we eventually will know which city got to host it, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts about the city that got to host it? What are your thoughts on the arena? Is it going to be a good event? And also, if, if you're watching this after Eurovision 2016, what did you think of the event? <laughs> I, it's, there's so many stages of this video. It's like before we know, when we know, and after it had happened. <sighs> Personally, I would probably say Stockholm would be good because I have a bed close to it. Malmö would be good because that's where I come from. I, I know the place and it's a very small, in, intimate 
city uh, which did a really good job back in 2013 and then there's Gothenburg where I know uh, Evelyn. I could stay with Evelyn. she said so. So give me your thoughts on the host city of the Eurovision Song Cost 2016 and there will be a new video next Monday probably dealing with my <laughs> dealing with probably with my favorite top three Eurovision songs of all time. I know. Let's get excited. <laughs>